All right, and we're going to create a new design. This gets into our custom C channel. So another Fusion 360 tutorial or training on how to create the custom C channels due to the fact that we are manufacturing and, uh, you know, machining our parts down. So we're going to be working in uh, VEX EDR parts. Remember, we want our document to be in inches. I always go in here and make sure this is in inches so we're all working on the same page. I need to save this design. So this design is going to be aluminum C channel 1 by 2 by 1 10 inches. There we go. So this is our new design. That means we're going to bring in a part from our VEX EDR parts. It's going to be structure. And as we scroll down, we're going to get into the aluminums. All right. And <clears throat> once we bring this part in, there's something very crucial so we can start working on the actual part. So there's a two by, there's a, a one by one at 35. So we're getting two different ways to bring it in. You can bring it in by insert into current design, or we can drag and drop it, whichever one you want to be uh, using, just whatever you get comfortable with. So right now, I know I'm working with this, so I can actually get rid of my data panel. I'm going to lay it right there. Make sure that Z is in the up position. If it's not, orbit around, then right-click, set current view as top. Okay. We want Z to be going up and down. This is going to help us when 3D printing and machining <coughs> all the manufacturing processes. So we have our aluminum C channel. Very first thing we need to do is grab this thing and break the link so that unlinks it from the main component right and now we can modify this thing as necessary next thing i'm going to do i'm going to get above it you can use shift in the middle uh middle wheel on your mouse or you hit top all right so i'm going to inspect it i need to hit i i'm going to grab this line then i'm going to grab this line and then I'm going to wait and it's going to give me a calculation and that was at an angle because I was going too fast so I for inspect I'm going to grab this line grab this line 17 and five hundredths or 17 and a half so I'm going to close that I want to get to 10 inches so I need 7.50 7 and five hundredths off to get me to 10 inches so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna create a line I'm gonna be on this top plane so I'm gonna select it by doing this and I want a construction line so I select that because this is a line that's gonna allow me just to lay a line on this part okay and I'm gonna go 7.5 and I'm gonna hit enter okay and it laid a line at 7.50 that means from here to here is going to give me 10 so that was a construction line the next thing i want to do is get into my cutting piece so i can do a two-point rectangle and i can actually use these as reference points to come over here and lay my line now hopefully it's recognizing this one yes it's trying to there it goes so it's at seven Point five zero. So if we do 2.5 and then we hit tab, we can go 7.5 and enter these and they'll actually be constrained a little better. So you'll notice that some indicators of being constrained. Uh, there's some other things that are on here indicating parallel. So we're good to go. Now with those particular lines, we don't want them to be construction lines. So as I highlight these, I can hold down control, highlight all of them, and I don't want construction, I want line lines. So that gives me my lines, and then I'm going to stop the sketch, and now I'm ready to cut. Okay. Now, you're going to see different ways to do this. Some people are going to do the split, which is split body, split face. There's different ways. One of the easiest ones for us is going to be just to press pull. If I hit Q, and I'm going to select this plane right here and I am going to drop this down to cut and I'm gonna go symmetric two sizes two sides and when I do that I'm going to be able to cut straight 
to that part and it's indicated in the red so that means I'm cutting everything that I see right there I hit OK boom I'm happy with that now the next thing I gotta inspect my part so once again I hit I come down here to this edge scroll out scroll back in I'm grabbing this edge and 10 inches very good this has been another training piece remember it's saved as aluminum C channel one by two by one this is next level here we go thank you for watching now you have a custom C channel that is 10 inches